This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Division Street East in Efreda was expected to reopen late Thursday after a nearly three-week closure to repair a collapsed sewer line. A Sacramento, California woman survived a 60-foot fall off a bridge while she was taking a selfie. Zany comedian Don Rickles, who was known for his biting humor, dies of kidney failure at age 90. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Division Street East in Efreda was expected to reopen late Thursday after a nearly three-week closure to repair a collapsed sewer line. A crew with Eastside Asphalt of Moses Lake was repaving Thursday morning on Division where workers recently opened a trench to replace the damaged sewer line. A City of Afreda Facebook notice stated that the street should reopen by 5 p.m. Thursday. That will happen once new pavement cools and the city restripes the section of Division. The street was closed in mid-March between B Street Northeast and D Street Northeast. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. This almost became a killer view. Only a Sacramento woman survived a heart-pounding 60-foot fall from the Forest Hill Bridge where she was taking photos as her friends watched helplessly. Yeah, I saw what happened. Paul Goncharuk was in the group of six friends, all in an off-limit section under the bridge when the young lady lost her footing. They were taking a picture on the bridge, and then... Uh... The big bolts that are holding the beams together. Uh, she like stepped on them kind of weirdly and just lost balance and fell backwards. Gonshuruk says she was knocked unconscious, suffered a deep gash to an arm, and fractured some bones that will require surgery, but that she will be okay. Well, she's of course in bad condition, but the way she's handling it is very good. This is video posted by sheriff's deputies of first responders taking the woman by stretcher to an awaiting helicopter ambulance. This Forest Hill Bridge, the highest in California, has become notorious as a daredevil's playground. Sheriff deputies now patrol for people treating the bridge like a jungle gym, climbing underneath, posting pictures and videos of themselves online. Gonshruk admits he and his friends were doing just that when one scary misstep led to a frightening fall. Now a new observation that seems so obvious. It's a cool place to take pictures, but honestly, it's not worth the risk. Comedian Don Rickles was known for his unique brand of insult comedy. His humor was cutting, but never mean-spirited. What I do is exaggerate life and make fun. I don't have to apologize for it. Born Donald J. Rickles in Queens, New York on May 8, 1926, he got his start as a comedian on the club circuit. Rickles was discovered by none other than Frank Sinatra at Murray Franklin's nightclub during the 1950s. He told CNN's Larry King in 2004 how his friendship with the late American icon began. And he sat down right in the front, and I started to do the thing. And one of the famous lines was, stand up, Frank, be yourself, hit somebody, you know. <laughs> and the whole audience laughed, and all his guys with him went, what do you think? <laughs> Sinatra affectionately called Rickles bullethead and championed the up-and-coming comedian's career. Their friendship survived several decades, with Rickles taking jabs at old blue eyes during his 80th birthday celebration in 1995. No, God bless you, Frank. I make fun of you. What could you do to me? <laughs> It was a great reactor for me, and he, he enjoyed my sense of humor, and I'm very grateful for it. Rickles tested his acting chops in the 1958 movie Run Silent, Run Deep, opposite Clark Gable. He also made appearances in the popular Beach Blanket film series with Annette Funicello and Frankie Avalon. I couldn't have done it better myself if I could have done it. Rickles caught Johnny Carson's attention and in 1965 began making regular appearances on The Tonight Show. Carson dubbed him Mr. Warmth. I started with him when the show was 90 minutes, and I had great fun with him, and I was free form, and Johnny would set me up to make me look like a real champ, and that was one of the exciting parts of my life. Rickles continued to make movies and soon became the go-to guy for laughs. In 1985, he performed at Ronald Reagan's second inaugural ball. He would later call the show the highlight of his career. In 1995, Rickles played Robert De Niro's trusted floor boss in Martin Scorsese's Casino. Mr. Warmth then became the voice of Mr. Potato Head in Disney Pixar's Toy Story franchise. 
He even had the chance to incorporate one of his famous calling cards. What are you looking at, you hockey puck? The funny man was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2000. He then became a New York Times best-selling author in 2007 with his memoir, Rickles Book. The following year, his documentary, Mr. Warmth, The Don Rickles Project, earned him two Emmy Awards. Well, it's like an accomplishment after some 55 years in the business, from starting out in the tough joints and saloons and strip tees, what they call it those days, strip tees joints, and to finally get to this makes me very proud. From the I-501 Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slicky taking a look at the basin's forecast. For Monday, clear and upper 50s. Near 60 with mostly cloudy skies for Tuesday. Overcast and mid 60s for Wednesday. Slight chances of rain Thursday in the low 60s. And rain on Friday near 60. Moving into the weekend, upper 50s and mostly cloudy skies. For i Fiber one I'm Jeff Slicky. This is i Fiber one News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at ifiber1.com or check us out on Facebook.